Why won't you believe me? I was never plotting any sort of uprising. It's insane. And what's supposed to convince me of that? The fact that you ambushed me and Trish in the ring with Corbin? Or that you attacked Sonya, the person who brought your plot to light? I don't even know why you're trying to convince me of anything. Your suspension will be over soon enough. And listen, I've made mistakes in the past too. When your suspension is over, I'm willing to give you another chance. But I'm telling you, Sonya was behind the whole thing. Again, with Sonya. Like I said before, that just doesn't make sense. And she's already proven useful to me as an assistant GM, having a second pair of eyes and ears around here. It's time to drop this lie and move on. But it's not a lie. Like I said, I've been in your shoes, but I learned to work hard, treat people fairly, and earn respect. So listen, if you tell anyone I okayed this, I'll deny it. But well, why don't you go blow off some steam at an indie show while you're waiting for your suspension to be over? Fine. Whatever.
I bet you think you're pretty smart, Sonia. That's SmackDown General Manager Sonia. Thank you very much. And yes, yes I do. So what, you recruiting me was all just part of some grand scheme to become SmackDown GM? How insecure are you? I'm clearly just standing up for what's right in WWE. However, if it was all part of a plan, and you, Corbin, Trish, and Adam Pearce were just collateral damage, those DMs and text messages were faked, mm, it's too bad that you wouldn't be able to prove it. You'll regret this, Sonya. I'll make sure of that. Maybe, but I sincerely doubt it. Because now, I have the power to officially control everyone on SmackDown. And the person I'm most looking forward to controlling? You. Why do you think I picked you in the first place? Someone getting too big for her britches? Thinking she was conniving enough to play in the big time? Not a chance, amateur. I could just fire you right now, but that would raise red flags and we don't want that. And like I said, it'll be a lot more fun to keep you around as my punching bag. So let's get the fun started tonight with your first match back from suspension. And by the way, it's a handicap match. <laughs> Enjoy. Here we go, she is ready. The following contest is a three-on-one handicap match. Making her way to the ring from Newcastle-upon-Tyne, England, L. This former indie star first appeared on WWE's radar after she won the Most Improved Wrestler Award at Booker T's Training School. Her dedication went next level at the Performance Center. She says she's here to kick the women's evolution up a notch and ride that straight to the top. The socially awkward Nikki Cross. No wonder Saxton likes Nikki so much. What are you trying to say? And her opponents first from Glasgow, Scotland. Right. Nikki Cross. This woman is fit to be tied, but incredibly dangerous from bell to bell in the moments before and after, to be honest with you. What do you think she's thinking about right now? I shudder to think. Highly unpredictable. I guess that would be an understatement. No one knows what this woman is truly capable of. Oh, no one knows what this woman is truly thinking. And their opponents from Sioux Falls, South Dakota, Shayna Baszler. I love Shayna Baszler. Yeah, I'm going to agree with you, Cole. I'm going to go on the record and say that Shayna Baszler might be my single favorite superstar in WWE. I love watching everything this woman is capable of. Prepare yourselves. This is not for the weak of heart. Expert joint manipulation, unlimited aggression on tap. Focused on dominance, would rather submit opponents than gain a pinfall victory. She's a badass, plain and simple. Shayna Baszler. The lady is here. Sit up straight, Saxton. Okay, I am, I am. And her partner, from Paris Island, South Carolina, Lacey Evans. Saxton, you ought to get a woman like Lacey Evans to keep you in line. I'm good just the way I am. But I, I'll tell you what, her questionable personality traits aside, Lacey Evans has had some pretty incredible victories against top talent like Dakota Kai and Candice LeRae.
She's beautiful, she's dangerous, and she is as classy as the day is long. And you can see that the odds are stacked against this competitor as this handicap match gets going. Outnumbered, outgunned, forget about winning, it's going to be nearly impossible to walk at the end of tonight. Set up in the corner of the ring. She gets the tag. Oh, what a roundhouse. Kick right to the leg. Oh, man, what a kick. And she had Baszler scouted. Freaks with a running knee strike. for that. I oh, had that well scouted. Now oh, trampling the opposition. She adjusts it and reverses it. Both superstars showing great awareness of their opponent's repertoire. And a roundhouse. Answering Switching it up. Fast press! Fast press! Fast press! Whoa, a clothesline! Not done yet. Another one! Trifecta! Cross can't stop any offense coming her way. Cross is going to have to dig down deep here. She's got something wicked in mind. That could take you out. Good contact. And she's in off the tag. <laughs> Boom! Strong impact from Lacey Evans. She's beginning to flag a little. Ooh, she responds with a counter. Knee strike. Oh, kick right in the face. Lacey fends that off. Hurricane Rana. Delivers an axe handle. Oh, straight forearm. That will get your attention. There's a tag. Opponent off the ropes. Hard impact on the back. Tag made. Oh, that got turned around on Evans. Oh! And a drop kick! Picture perfect. And finds a counter. Right to the schoolgirl. Kicks out on the pinfall attempt. Clearly, she's still got a lot of fight left in her. So much damage inflicted. Kick to the face. She could do it here. She kicks out in one. Still has enough energy for the simple kick out. And a drop kick. Picture perfect. And Nikki Cross is on the downside of things. Yeah, Cross needs to come up with a new plan fast. Delivered into the barricade.
starting to tire a little. Not sure if I'm panicked, but certainly some cause for concern here. Oh, clothesline! Oh, boom! Oh, oh, swept the leg right out from under. Six! Yeah. Now would be the time for everyone to clear out. Easier said than done. They are not concerned about anyone else's well-being. And she's gained total control of this match. Nobody can match up with this woman when she's on a roll like this. Nobody. Wow, so close. She's pushed into the corner. Wow, again, shoulder to the midsection. Only shown off if it doesn't work. Boom, it's okay, they weren't that pretty anyway. Evans with the retaliation. Momentum going back to Lacey's corner. Evans certainly tipping the scales a bit here. She returns the favor there. Tag. Here she comes. Ooh, double axe handle. Big form. And she denies cross. Knee strike. Oh, knee right to the face. in the fireman's carry into a sidewalk slam wow awesome and a drop kick picture perfect Shayna Baszler's defense is being whittled down time to end this oh man into the neck breaker oh. Ross is in big big trouble and a victory what a win she picks up here tonight Impressive victory from bell to bell. We really saw what these competitors were made of here tonight. Yeah, especially the winner.